Hey there, my name is Tobin, and I'm an MSB consultant at Proval Technologies. Over the next several videos, we'll be performing a deep dive into policy objects and how they can be configured to facilitate automation within your environment. In our VSA Basic series, we introduce you to the concept of policies and how objects can be configured to automate endpoint settings within the VSA. If you need a refresher on this, you can find it on our channel. In a previous video, I discussed how to create a monitor set to monitor the process outlook.exe if it goes down. In this video, I'll be discussing how to create a view to show machines that have outlook.exe installed. This way we can utilize it and the monitor set in a policy so that you can be alerted if the software isn't running. This policy will be covered in a separate video. Let's get into it. So to create a view, we need to select the New button next to View to open up our View window. The first thing that we have to do before we can make any edits is save and provide it a name. So let's select Save As, and let's call this Outlook.exe installed. Let's select OK. And in order to view the process as installed, or missing, we're going to just select the Applications dropdown to review its options. We have Contains or Missing, as well as Version String. This allows us to show an application that is installed, not installed, or is not at at least a particular version or at a equal version. So first we're gonna do Contains Outlook.exe. And the location that this is looking at is the audit information of the machine itself. So if the machine has not run an audit or has not run an updated audit, this view may or may not be precise. So let's select contains outlook.exe and let's press save. I'm going to close this window for now and we're going to select the view we just created. You can see that my DevWin 10 machine is showing. Now let's go ahead and let's change that to missing to ensure that the view is working correctly. So we have contain selected, let's do missing, and let's select save. You'll see that the view updates and automatically refreshes the agent list. Now this machine is missing. Let's go ahead and make sure we put that back to contains since in our policy, we're going to want to make sure we're applying our monitor set to machines that contain Outlook. Let's select Save. The machine is now back. We'll close our view window. And that concludes our discussion on creating a view that displays all machines with a specific process. In a future video, I will show you how to use this view and a monitor set within a policy to be alerted if the application fails to run. A view of this type can be used to show machines that are missing an application or do not have a specific version, not just what's installed. So keep that in mind. And there are additional filters that you'll be able to add in the future as well. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Kaseya, ConnectWise Automate, ConnectWise RMM, and more. Let us know what else you'd like to see. Have a great day.